guys, so for today's video, I'm going to be doing a vegan grocery haul. If I include the first part, um, my family just came in and we we're gonna do a group grocery haul, but decided that probably won't work. I thought it would be funny to invite my family. Introduce yourselves, family. Hi, I'm Will. You don't go by Will. Whole Foods, and we got a bunch of vegan grocery. You can't. You can't. <laughs> Am I doing this wrong? <laughs> yeah. Nas tortillas. Here we go. Some apples, I think these are vegan. Now look like DJs. Here, you should stand at the same like level as me so it's not like I'm turning back to look at you guys. This is not working. Is it, you're firing it? <laughs> you're you're, you're just standing. Fired, you're just standing. You're not even minimum wage. You're standing in the so, <laughs> so we went to Whole Foods and we went to Kroger, which is also called Fred Meyers, but nobody knows what that is, so I just call it Kroger. But we got a bunch of groceries in anticipation for Thanksgiving, and just a bunch of other groceries like breakfast foods and fake meats and vegetables and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, also I'm wearing my UNAS sweatshirt. If you guys don't know, I do UNAS broadcasts really often, so you should follow me on UNAS. Know, I'm having a fun time, I don't know. The first things I'm going to be showing you guys are actually from Kroger or Fred Meyer. The first thing I got was this Daya mac and cheese. I love this stuff so much. I think we got two of them. Yes. We got two Daya mac and cheeses. These are so good. I really like the Alfredo style. I like it better than the orange one. I don't know. I don't know why. It just color weirds me out, but I love this stuff. Next thing I got was these breads. This is from Good Seed, and it is Dave's Killer Bread. And this stuff is really good. It's like all natural, um, organic. All of that stuff. It's a little bit on the expensive side, but it is really good and my dad really likes it. It's his favorite bread, so 10 out of 10. Next thing that I got are these little tortilla things and these I just wanted to make like little soft tacos out of. I don't really know how it's going to work, but I bought these beefless uh, crumbles, which you guys will also see, and I really wanted to make tacos out of them because I have vegan sour cream, so it's lit. I also got some apples. I don't actually know what type these are. Um, there might be a little sticker. Yeah, it just says organic on it. So at least they're organic. But yeah, just some random apples. I've been craving fruit recently and just all that stuff. I don't know, I'm missing summer, so got some apples. The next thing that I got are just some potatoes. These are for mashed potatoes. And yeah, they're just, just good old potatoes. Next thing I got is this jellied cranberry sauce for Thanksgiving. I love this stuff. It is so, so good. Next, I just got a thing of pad thai. It is the A Taste of Thai peanut noodles, and I just really like this. I don't know. Next thing that I got is marinara sauce. It is Newman's own marinara sauce, and I love this stuff, but apparently, okay, you have to watch out for marinara sauce having milk in it. I was looking at the ingredients of some of them and they had like milk and cheese in them. I don't know, it was really annoying. So just make sure that it doesn't, this one always comes through. So I really like it. I use marinara sauce for a lot of things like lasagna, burritos, just like random stuff, you know, pasta. So I like to always have a bunch of them on hand. I only got one this time because I think, I think we might already have some. But. The next thing that I got is some spinach. So something actually healthy. Uh, you guys always yell at me for not getting a lot of vegetables, but I got some Finished. I've recently been putting this in smoothies and stuff and yeah, just kind of masks the flavor because I don't really like vegetables but I don't want to like die so I'll put these in smoothies and I don't taste it and it's, it's okay. Next thing I got are some waffles. These are the Cashy Blueberry Waffles and at Whole Foods I also got some like whipped cream stuff that's vegan so I'm going to put that on this with some like vegan butter and like maple syrup oh my god that sounds so good i literally might eat this after um after i film this because i'm just craving that right now but right there it says vegan so yeah kroger is actually doing a really good job of stocking vegan things which i am really happy about they have like two whole aisles of like natural foods and a lot of it's vegan they have so many vegan cookie doughs and stuff i think maybe because whole foods just recently came in they're like but we gotta step up our game but yeah, I'm impressed. The next thing that I got is some silk chocolate soy milk. This stuff is really, really, really good. And I just loved chocolate milk before I went vegan. So the fact that there's chocolate soy milk, chocolate hazelnut milk, and it all like tastes so much better is just 10 out of 10. Next thing that I got are these Simple Truth Meatless Crumbles with soy. And I'm pretty sure this is just a knockoff brand of Gardein, but like the Kroger version. 
and it does say vegan on top and it just feels like a big block on the inside I don't really know but I'm really excited to try this um, I am a big fan of fake meats so I don't think I've ever tried a meatless crumble or maybe I have I don't know I can't remember if I have or not so I'm excited to try this. Next, I got these two vegan pizzas. This is the Amy's Roasted Vegetable No Cheese. Oh, and this is the same one. Yep, two Roasted Vegetable No Cheese. These are really, really good. Like, it looks bland. Like, it just looks like some vegetables. But the caramelized onion that they have on it just tastes so good. I could eat this all day. Yes. Next, I got some Gold Peak Sweet Tea. And this was actually on sale for like a dollar. So I was like... Yeah, so got this. I'm a pretty big fan of sweet tea or iced tea, and every time I go to the store, I'll get one of those little ones and just drink it like all day. One of my favorite beverages, so get a big one so I can enjoy it at home. Next thing I got was some apple juice, just plain old apple juice. I really like this stuff. I feel like I'm a kid whenever I drink it, but really good. Um, my family got two cranberry juices. I'm not a huge fan of cranberry juice, but they like it, so yeah. Next, we got these two creamers. My dad drinks a lot of coffee, and he really likes this stuff. It is the vanilla silk soy creamer, and it's, it's pretty good. I don't know. I'm just not a huge coffee drinker, so I usually don't use this stuff, but yeah, he really likes it, and he'll always buy these like big versions. If we go specifically, Two Fred Meyers because they have the tall ones instead of the short ones. Also got some vegan honey mustard. We got some chow cheese. It is creamy original with chow, 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 with chow tofu. This stuff is my favorite vegan cheese ever. I would definitely recommend this. You, you need to try this. It's just so good on everything. Got this coconut bliss um, vanilla island ice cream this is so so good i usually do not like vanilla ice cream but this stuff is really really good it has like a hint of coconut and i just love it i'm probably gonna leave it on the counter so it thaws out a little bit and i can uh, eat a little bit of that but this also coconut bliss is just such a tasty brand and so delicious not a big fan of almond dream any of the almond milk ones not even the vegan ben and jerry's but coconut bliss and so delicious Y'all are lit. And the last things that we got from Kroger were these little burritos. I personally don't really like these, but my dad eats them all the time. It is the Indian samosa wrap made with organic potatoes, peas, and tofu. And I think the reason why I don't like these is because I ate them right after I got off the plane in Paris and I felt really nauseous. I didn't throw them up, but I just felt nauseous. So now the scent of these kind of makes me want to die, but my dad likes them and he takes them to lunch and we're vegan. So that is everything from Kroger and now we are moving on to whole food stuff, which is not that much. We just needed some, you know, Thanksgiving stuff. So the first thing that we got was this vegan pumpkin pie. I am very excited by this. It's labeled as vegan. It like, I don't know. I'm just so excited that I can go to the store and buy a pie. <laughs> Yeah, so this we're gonna save until Thanksgiving unless someone opens it up and starts eating it, but I used to like pie like before I went vegan, so I'm a little too lazy to cook my own and I'm really excited that they have pre-baked ones ready for us lazy vegans. Next thing that I got were these two bags of vegan stuffing mix. This um, I've never tried before, but I hope it is better than the weird gluten-free stuff that I cooked in my vegan Thanksgiving video. If you wanna watch that, I'll link it down below. But yeah, this better be good. It says vegan on it, which is awesome. Have to watch out because there are some that look very similar to this at Whole Foods, and they are the chicken ones. So just watch out, but I'm really excited to try these. I hope they live up to my expectations of them. Um, the next thing that we got that was very exciting is the holiday vegetarian feast that is all vegan it says little guy right there says it's all vegan so we got this and this apparently has a lot of stuff in it it has a roast it has gravy and it has like brownies in it like what i don't really know but it was a little bit on the expensive side so if you guys are looking to save money i don't know but we just wanted to have a lit thanksgiving and I'm really excited to try this. I hope it lives up to its expectations. 
And I also hope it fits in the freezer because I, I have a feeling that it might not. Next thing from Whole Foods is this cocoa whip coconut whipped topping. This is so good. I love this stuff so much. It tastes better than non-vegan whipped cream. Um, not that I ate that, but I still have like the flavor memory from like before I was vegan. But um, yeah, this so so good i love it i can't wait to put it on my waffles and i'm probably gonna eat in like 10 minutes uh, next you guys you guys they have holiday nog at whole foods this is the mint chocolate one this is the just holiday nog one like this is the most exciting news i've ever heard and i think they just stocked them because the shelf was like full of them and yeah, I know that I used to work at a grocery store and the soy nogs would always sell out within like a few days. So got a couple of those. I'm going to try them. I'm really, really excited to. Last but not least, we got some nutritional yeast. The lady at Whole Foods told me that they no longer sold this. And then I walked past the aisle one last time and I looked down and I saw it. And I was like, we sell this. Like, come on. But um, yeah, I was... Did not want to have to buy it in bulk because I just, I like the little shaky container. And yeah, this stuff I use in my lasagna sauce. I use it to make pasta sauce. You can put it on popcorn and it tastes so good. I don't know. This stuff is amazing. So anyways, that was my vegan grocery haul Thanksgiving edition. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to let me know if you would like more vegan grocery hauls. You guys seem to really like them, so I'm probably going to be making some more in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a like or dislike if you liked it or disliked it. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye, everyone.